Hey there everyone, Aaron Spalsbury here at 3X Logic. Today I'm going to show you the difference between the mainstream, a substream, and the rapid stream on the Vigil Client Software 8.0 version. Uh, there's a couple of things that we get asked about all the time, and that of course is how can we uh, basically control the bandwidth that each one of these cameras is actually putting out not only to the DVR but also through the client. And of course this is so we, that we can uh, speed up our transmission rate through the client obviously get it over here quickly. Well there's a couple of ways that we can do this. Now from the camera to the DVR they are going to be sending what we call the mainstream. Now the mainstream is typically going to be the high definition stream uh, in a lot of cases it comes over as an H.264 but needless to say it is usually going to be the highest resolution that that we can get from the camera, of course, if the camera is set to its maximum res. Now, there's a couple of things that you can do to actually navigate through some of these control settings. Off to the left-hand side, you'll notice that this particular camera does have an M in this little blue icon off to the left-hand side of the screen. That tells me that right now I am getting the mainstream. Now, if I hover over this one, I can change this to what we call a substream. Now, the substream is the secondary stream that we can get from the camera coming over to the DVR. Now, typically, we don't record the substream because it's a lower resolution. It's typically designed for live viewing, but you certainly could set it up to record it if you wanted to. But a couple of points uh, to note here. For instance, we are using an H.264 compression. We are requesting maximum from the server to the client here, meaning give me all of the frames that you have. And you can see that this one's about 50. 15 frames a second. Well, more importantly is the amount of bandwidth that we're actually using from this particular camera is, yeah, we're kind of toggling uh, about 3800K, uh, which of course is about 3.5 or 4 meg. Now, needless to say, if I come over here and click this button and I change it over to the substream from that particular camera, I still get the same amount of uh, frames per second because, of course, our, our local area network here is pretty fast. But notice what happens to the bandwidth itself. It drops significantly. Now you may also notice that the resolution is also uh, considerably lower as well. Well that's because we are requesting a lower resolution stream from the camera to come out to the client and that of course just means that we're using le less uh, network or bandwidth utilization through the network here. Now we can do that if the camera does have what they call dual streaming, which of course our entire physics series does have. Now. What if you have a camera that doesn't allow for dual streaming? Well, this is what really kind of sets the 3X Logic server aside, and that's our ability to actually recompress the image that we get from the camera and actually convert it to a lower resolution, but it's done entirely by the server. That's uh, this camera that's down here below. Now, again, let's go ahead and take a look at this one. You'll notice we're about oh, 1.7 or so uh, meg per second or uh, 1,700 kilobits per second, but needless to say, I'm going to come over here off to the left, and I'm going to change this one to rapid stream. Well, that is when the DVR is actually recompressing that image down to a lower resolution, which of course speeds up our bandwidth and everything else, or speeds up our transmission rate due to limitations of the bandwidth. But you'll notice that we've also converted it from an H.264 to an Aztec compression. That, of course, is our proprietary compression. Either one of these, whether you have a substream or rapid stream coming from the DVR, allows you to look at multiple cameras. Now granted, I only have two on the screen here, but let's say for instance if you were looking at say 30 cameras at one time. Well if that's only one inch by say two inches on your screen, you may not need to transmit a 3, 5, 10 megapixel, whatever your camera is, if you're only looking at it in essentially a small live thumbnail that's on the screen. That's really the major benefit of being able to get either rapid stream or substream through the DVR because of course being a smaller file size, being a smaller image, it's going to take up less bandwidth utilization and ultimately give you a faster transmission rate which is going to make the video look slightly more fluid. But of course that's at the cost of resolution. But at least we have the option of toggling back and forth between these two on the server and on the client software so that you can control this entirely uh, when you need it and when you don't need it. But that's all there really is to uh, rapid stream and substreaming guys. See you on the next vid.